How do you create a podcast on a topic that really doesn't have any other examples online for you to base your podcast on? Let's answer that question and some thoughts coming up next. Hey there, podcaster. Thank you so much for watching this week. My name is The Shan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and a podcast producer. And in today's video, we are talking specifically about this question that was emailed to me a couple of weeks ago from Scylla Quinones. And she asked the question, how do you create a podcast in a topic where you have no other examples to base your idea off of? Now, I have some answers for you in this particular uh, question, and I will get to them here very shortly. Now, before I jump into that, I want to let you you know that you're always welcome to reach out to me on email. Uh, you could find my email address on my about section right here on YouTube and you could shoot an email over to me. I can't guarantee I'll get uh, back to you right away. I have some emails that are sitting in my inbox right now and uh, you know between working at the radio station and of course the state of affairs that we were going through right now in America <laughs> there's just been a lot going on and I'm having to balance work with uh, especially a lot of the things that are happening uh, within the world around us. So uh, just please be patient and and I will uh, get, do my best to get back to you or I may answer your question in a video reply right here on YouTube. So we're going to answer that question for you. So maybe you are a beginning podcaster or maybe you are already a seasoned podcaster, but you have been questioning or doubting yourself on creating a podcast in a niche or a topic area that just doesn't really have a whole lot of traction or maybe just there's no one really in that niche. So should you really go ahead and start creating a podcast without feeling like you're wasting your time by just putting that content out there, okay? So as a reminder, before we jump into this, I wanna remind you that you can always go to my YouTube main page channel because I recently updated a lot of it and separated a lot of the videos that I've done over the last uh, couple of years and I got all of the videos and I separated them out into specific playlists as it relates to the podcaster journey. One of those, uh, one of those videos or a couple of those videos really talk about the topic and how you come up with the topic topic of your podcast and I believe I address that or this idea in some of those videos but I figure we go ahead and answer it again here with a little bit more of an explanation but you're more than welcome to jump on over to, on over to those playlists and subscribe to them you'll likely see this video show up on one of those playlists but it's really easy for you guys to use so I recommend going over to, over to YouTube on my main YouTube channel to check those playlists so here we are talking about the idea of starting a podcast that really doesn't have any type of saturation inside of it and according to Scylla's email I want to read a couple of things off of her email that really kind of stood out to me in the beginning of the, her email she says she's really been involved with poverty solutions and homelessness it's a topic that she can really lose herself in and that she would love to create a career around especially because she grew up in poverty and uh, on again off again homelessness uh, it's very a topic that's obviously very passionate for her she says that she's finding it hard uh, because she can't really find any other podcasters or YouTubers that cover this area. The closest thing that she has found is really just one show that has, was found on the Freakonomics show, and uh, it was really just based around an idea. It wasn't an actual podcast itself. So she says she wants to really break the mold, and she thinks it's a great opportunity, but how do you really create that podcast? Now, my answer to you on this, Scylla, is that you just actually start. You create the podcast that you want to see available in the Apple Podcasts section of the internet or on Spotify. Spotify or wherever you are putting your podcast. That is the idea behind you creating a podcast. When podcasting started a long time ago, we can think of that as guys who were starting out podcasts because they saw or had an interest in an area that wasn't really talked about in the mainstream, whether that be through books or whether that be through audiobooks or whether that be through TV or radio. They wanted to expand and go a little deeper and go a little farther. And as podcasting became a little more uh, popularized, people started exploring those niches and they started creating their own brand or they started creating and exploring how to get the answers within those niches, whether it, been, whether it could be uh, models with toys or we, whether it be like, you know, I don't know, uh, maybe it's something that has to deal with uh, toy trains. I don't know what it could be, but podcasters were doing it way back then. Now, when we fast forward to podcasting today, it seems like every niche is really kind of filled out. But what makes you different in those niches is that you are being yourself. You are providing the answers of how you achieved the goal 
to get the answers for yourself. So in particular, in Scylla's case, she's talking particularly about poverty solutions and homelessness. Now, if there's not a podcast out there on poverty solutions or homelessness, I highly recommend that you go out there and you dominate that niche, okay? You go in and you you try to cover as much as you can in order to get people to, to come to it and say like, oh, she really provides a lot of great information on this topic area. Maybe I can reach out to her and she can give me some answers on what I can do as far as Uh, poverty solutions and helping other people out. A lot of people don't realize that podcasting can be used as a tool to help other people out. And that's what you, Scylla, can do for yourself. You can utilize the platform, share it with organizations and share it with other people, share it with influencers and get eyes on your podcast so that you can start developing that conversation around whatever it is that you are passionate about. So my advice to you right here, and I haven't written down here in my notebook, I have my point right here, number one, don't rely on the answers or the lack of answers on the internet to get an idea to start a podcast. Just start the podcast. What I would recommend that you do is that you sit down with a notebook and a pen and you start coming up with individual topics that you could talk about for each and every individual podcast. That might get you to start the podcast and releasing it. Now, I know that she has said that she has recorded the podcast and and uh, I, I can't remember in I can't find it in the email, but uh, oh, she says that she's been deleting that because she doesn't know what the bar or the standard is, what the bar or the standard is for your particular niche, whether you're in poverty and homelessness, whether you're in toy train making, whether you're in drones, the bar or the standard is your own bar. You cannot worry about what the other people are doing. You can only worry about what you are doing for yourself. You can only worry about making yourself that much more valuable to your audience, the audience that appreciates the information that you give them, not the information that someone else gives them. So you may be in the same niche area as someone else, but maybe those people in those niche areas aren't as personable as you are because maybe you connect with the audience a little better. Maybe you connect with the audience a little bit differently. It's all gonna be about the connection that you will have with the audience and how much information or entertainment that you can give them that will keep them listening and coming back every week. You have to remember that your your information is going to be valuable in the eyes of the listener and when it becomes valuable in the eyes of the listener, they will continue to return. As an example, and I mean I use this example all of the time, is this particular YouTube channel. When I set out to create this particular YouTube channel, I kept thinking to myself, I don't see podcasters or any particular podcasters doing a podcast or maybe doing a video portion about podcasting because teaching people about podcasting can be a very visual thing when it comes to the equipment and the tech and the microphone, all that stuff. But I realized that no one was penetrating that market other than just creating one video at a time. There are a few other podcasters or there are actually other influencers that are talking about podcasting, but I specifically talk about podcasting and I've decided that I want to blaze the trail about podcasting itself. I don't care what any of these other guys uh, do. I'm just doing what I know how to do best. After 20 years of being in radio, I want to pave my own path. And you will notice that in the results of when people continue to reach out to you and ask you questions about how they can help you or how you can help them. I want to read something that I have written down here. Uh, It says, the secret sauce behind your brand uh, and ideas are you. That couldn't be more true. The secret sauce behind your brand is you. You define your podcast. You define and carve out the space in your niche. Don't be afraid about what someone hasn't released. Release it for yourself. Lastly, the success of your podcast is in your confidence that you know this topic better than anyone else and you know it, regardless of what people think that you are missing in terms of the topic area, you know how to do it best the way you know how to do it, not by the general standard. You're achieving the goal. You're creating something that is based around your passion because you have been able to find that solution for yourself and you wanna share it with the world. So I will give you this advice. Blaze the trail within your niche. That's all you have to do. Be confident and blaze the trail. 
If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure when you hit that thumbs up button that you are hitting the subscribe button uh, because you know you want to get you get notified whenever these uh, videos do get released. And hit that little bell button because you will get notified immediately when that video does drop uh, in the morning. Typically, it's on a Tuesday morning. Uh, I do my best for doing it on Tuesday mornings. You'll get the notification right there inside of YouTube. Uh, but if I don't, you do get those notifications when the video does drop. And of course, if you need more details on anything that I've got going on as far as uh, maybe what trainings I've got coming up or maybe uh, what uh, resources I have available for you. The links are down in the description of this particular YouTube video. They are always there to, and meant to help you out so that you can succeed on your podcasting journey to find your own voice and to blaze your own trail. Again, thank you so much for watching this week. I really do appreciate it. I will see you next time.